Today is September 3rd, the Yankees and the kids. The Yankees are the kids. They went into Houston and they swept the Astros. The first time the Yankees have swept the Astros since 2013. What? Let's talk some Yanks. Hello and welcome to Talking Yanks, presented to you by Seat Geek. My name is Jimmy. His name is Jake. We got BBD in the corner, and we had ourselves a fun weekend. Monday is a holiday, and so the weekend is still going for most people. But my goodness, that was the the most fun weekend of Yankees baseball of the season, which is bizarre because for two or three months we were in it, but that. That is honestly the most fun three games of Yankees baseball of the season. I'm very excited to chat about it. Jake, how are you doing? James Davis, there was a an almost pathetic moment of, am I enjoying this too much? But no, we, uh, we had a bad year. We're putting that in our rear view. This weekend was awesome, dude. Dominguez, are you kidding me? Um, man, I, it was so funny. I tweeted out like, wow, Yankee fans, we needed this. This is awesome. And some people like came in to be like, oh my God, you're celebrating one win and a losing. <laughs> I was like, yes, it's been bad, Jimbo. Bad. And, and the style of baseball was just better. I mean, even if, yeah, we'll get into it. Um, It was awesome. And sometimes an old saying, an old saying on this show is you got to ask to receive. Okay. And I asked for an electric debut. You did. And it's only been three games, but we got, we got it. (laughs) Like how much different did that feel than when they called it Pereira and Peraza before the at-bats even took place? Yes. It's kind kind of weird. Yes, it's a little, it's a little, uh, the only caveat I would give is Pereira this season, the offense was doing so bad, they batted Pereira or Peraza lead off, but that was oh. very, that was so much desperation. That was, we, we're looking for anything where Dominguez, it was like, Hey, you're in the middle of the lineup. We'll see you in a little bit. And it, because they're lefties, different when emotions. Pereira, when prayer and Peraza came up, and we were talking to Boone, it was like, "Oh shit, two more righties." Yeah, this might even they might even be good, but that's a tough task. Like the fact that these guys are lefties that command the zone and hit with power, I can't be rooting for them more to be full time Yanks now. And then, yeah, we can do burns. We're gonna do burns. We're gonna do everything else, but uh. I needed some electric rookie starts. It's only three games. They could like not be great the rest of the way. And you'd be like, whoa, remember when you said the three games? Shut up. Eat a bug. I'm excited. Wins and losses are out, man. It's a it's a it's weird all training. It's a weird time for talking Yanks, but wins and losses are out. Um, it's fall training. But I do think winning the three games made it better. Oh, it's cool. The wins are still better than the losses, for sure. We're still so scorned from this Yankee season that, like, I I wish we could be talking about the, like, spoiler Yanks. Like, oh, the Yanks are coming into town. We're going to ruin your week. But, like, we're we're so far from that, man. I just, for five months, I got beat up. (laughs) So, like, awesome. Cool. I'm all about Dominguez. Uh, I've, Joe's McFly, uh, he let the, the Martian kisses dad. But like outside of that, it's we're doing the same stuff. Let's get into the game so we can get into the awards. Cause I want to talk about all the personal little things. Well, Jim, that's all brought to you by the draft King sportsbook college football. What a day. 
My goodness. A lot of big games. Week one, DraftKings Sportsbook is hooking you up with a can't-miss offer to start the season strong. This week, new customers can bet $5 on any college football game and score $200 in bonus bets instantly. Life is more fun when you're in on the action. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code YANKS. New customers can score $200 in bonus bets instantly when they bet just $5 on college football. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code YANKS. The crown is yours. Go get in it at DraftKings. DraftKings. Let's burn game one. Rodon versus Verlander. How's your Tigers White Sox game? Verlander versus the horse he rode on with Carlos. DJ26 with a classic solo dong. Jason Derulo, but an alien, splitting it up like Jenna Frooms. Jose Abreu goes deep, but it's not enough tonight. Big G outshines Tucker, and the judge rules it game over without little flip. Yanks win 6-2 final. Good game. Yeah. Exciting game. I uh Katie and I decided not to do anything this weekend right. just to take a break, but we got the two kids and I said on Friday I said what I How would you get those two kids? I said I do need to watch the A game tonight and I said and there's going to be at bats where I can't like I like I can't help. So if you can just allow me those three minutes, you really got to communicate when you're you got two kids in a marriage because you just never see each other. So I was like, there might be two times where they're both crying, but I want to watch this at bat. And she said, okay. Jim so uninterrupted. Got Actually, ahead of it. Got ahead of it. And then James didn't watch the at bat. What an idiot. <laughs> but I saw that. That the being is at bat was awesome. And DJ opening it up with a home run kind of was like, it's all okay. Go with, out there and have fun kids with the home run. The, the DJ home run that would be famous in Yankees history. If everything else had gone that way. And then the Jason Dominguez part, dude, I I've seen you have those two kids. I was in the room. I, I watched them come get, on. I watched them get birth. I watched them come out. I was there. Jess, uh, I tried to tell her, I was like, hey, you know, I know there's a new season of Only Murders in the Building. I know it's not as highly regarded as the previous seasons, but Will will still watch it. But I'm watching Jason Dominguez's first at-bat on my phone. I can't explain it. She goes, oh, it's Houston. I get it. That's why you're so locked in. I was like, yes and no. But that Jason Dominguez homer, man, I mean, we, <laughs> I don't know. It, you end up sounding spoiled or rotten. I don't, I, I, I guess it could be either way, but like, dude, it. Usually it, people combine those. It felt like we deserved it and like we don't, but God, that was cool, man. It was cool. And then they hit the farthest home runs you've seen. And there was like, what is this? Their fifth time facing Verlander this year. Maybe they're fourth. I think four. Fourth. And they kept having good at bats with bad results. Kind of like in ping pong when you rally for a, a while. Every don't, point is don't earned. Bring but then up you get my blown ping out. Pong game. That's what it was. You uh, know it's flawed. They finally got him. I mean, Stan hits one off the window. Judge hits one to the train track. And Rodon was all right. Um, Wells also opens up with a hit in his first at bat. Like this was just a fun game. There was a lot of little moments that were cool. So great game one. I am. Yeah. The <laughs> Wells is first hit, uh, almost, I mean, almost good comedy. That is like sick first at bat. Like Justin Verlander turns on it. Over second base, like an awesome hit. But <laughs> it was just wrongly timed, man. A couple a couple batters late. Uh that we uh, were... I don't know though, but it was it was cool in its own right because he saw so many different pitches. Right. 
and work the count. So it was like a different skill set. It was like, hey, Martian's going to bop you first fastball you throw. Wells is going to make you throw three different styles of pitches, foul off a 3-2, then put one in play. It kind of was a a great one-two punch. So you're a Martian guy. Yes, I love the Martian. Yes. Can I tell you something? We've always kind of been Martian guys. <laughs> like a I little like Martians, but I like little, this kid. A little bit facetious at first, but I think since day one, we were pretty firm. Do whatever you want in the farm. Do not trade the Martian because he got a cool nickname. Yeah. Yeah. And I wondered how much the nickname was like, did, does he like it or does he not like it? Did someone just say it once and it right. stuck because it's weird? His glove's got an alien on it. And it's alien green. Yeah, I think it like predates his Yankee. Bro, he's kind of all in. People don't understand. Um, I was getting a lot of shit for like for like being okay. excited. People don't understand how prospects work. They all suck until they're good. Right. Now I've seen Jason Dominguez, and after three t- three games seeing him, I think he's going to be great. Well, <laughs> I, awesome. I think he has the ability to be great. Right. Never watched him play before. You've never been to a Jason Dominguez game. First one. Do you hear they call him? They call him. What did Volpe say they called him? Uh, I'm blank on his name. The guy, the defensive end on the uh, Chargers. Nick or Bosa. Rams. Oh, oh, Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. They call him mini Aaron Donald or something like that. And Aaron okay. Donald's already pretty short. That's what Volpe said. Is. They call him. Well, Volpe is trying uh, to get anyone his height. <laughs> like I have to say something that I texted you guys. I like that the Martian isn't traditionally handsome. It makes him more lovable. And I think that he's not going to get caught up in anything. I like that the first car he bought was like a used Honda Accord. Like every detail that came out about him. He did one interview in Spanish. And then basically the next day was like, fuck that. I'll just do English. And that re- reminded me of Glaber and Glaber was electric yeah. when he came up his first year. And I was like, and that is no pressure or knock on people that don't want to do that uh, because they don't can't speak English or right. a second language. Especially I couldn't in do it city. in Spanish. I just think it's kind of like shows the moxie he's got to be like, well, I don't care if I speak, you know, it's not perfect. I'd rather just speak to you in English. So a couple things. I live with the number one and number two fans of the Meredith fan club. It's just a noodle. Uh, when Meredith's on the screen, they both freak out. They go nuts. Uh, and it's awesome. It's awesome. It's electric. Uh, but the, they were, <laughs> I was going to say they. I guess Meredith was interviewing uh, Jason Dominguez, and it was after his first game, and our guy Marlon was there. And, like, they were trying to do it right. Like, hey, I'll ask you a question and, like, let's bop it back. But Dominguez was so hyped that he wanted to answer the questions and he, like, did it first. And then yeah. it was like, okay, hey, Marlon, okay, you take the, you take the rest. But, like, I kind of already answered it. And yeah, it was, he'd give, like, awesome. a one-word answer and then Marlon had to, like, at, make it longer. But he already did it in, in English. When Meredith Morakovitz comes on the TV screen in my home, Jessica and my dog Noodle freak out. They're all about it. They go nuts. Do you think that your Noodle freaks out because Jess freaks out? Thousand percent. He's a dog. Okay. But, all right. Like um, if it's just you and Noodle, Noodle's not freaking out because then that's really weird. Oh. It's wild, but I do think Noodle's kind of in on it. Like, if Jess is out and Meredith comes on for her pregame pop, like, Noodle's in. Can you hear the voice, right? Dogs like sounds. He's short. Judge is too tall. Judge is making Volpe and uh, Jason look too short. Bro, it's... (laughs) I mean, I guess we're here. Volpe and Dominguez on their best days are 5'9", and if they're good at baseball, that's awesome. How about Meredith outing outing the Martian? <laughs> Immediately. Like, you think he's 5'9", and Meredith goes right away. I think 5'9 is generous. Awesome. 
And and uh, on on uh, Sunday night baseball tonight, who's who does play by play? Is it Ravich? Carl Ravich. So. He was like to Cone, he was like, I think every year Judge is getting bigger. And it's like, well, no, he used to stand next to Stanton and Gallo and Matanzas. uh Hicks and, and uh yeah, and tall guys, and now he's next to two five eight guys. Crazy. So, anyway, let's burn game two. You think so? Yeah. Severino has been drinking the brown, but one good game could change it all. Show me your Oswald, Cabrera, and Peraza. Two, nothing, but equalized by Brantley. It's two to two. Judgment day comes for everyone. Three, two, Yiner Diaz. Gives them the lead because he's good, but the Strohs stinking got swept. Well sacked. Pereira RBI. They played again. Eat it. Let's go, Yanks. Wow. Eat it. Let's go, Yanks. This game was pretty good. (laughs) I mean, full-blown scary in the middle, if we're being honest. Because if, if the, I'm being honest, I like that they won, but it, but I am fall training. The I didn't, I had never had my heart on the line because it's fall training at all. I actually thought they were going to lose when Clay came in, and I was kind of just laughing about it. But, but again, fall training. I just wanted them to get more at bats. Like I want them to score runs so I can see them get more at bats. I think Clay Holmes is going to end up in a historically weird place in Yankees memories or or franchise history. Like he he's been incredible. His his power sinker and what he does. Like he he's put up some crazy numbers, but you're right, Jim. Like there was a point in this game when he gave up a hit in the ninth inning that I was like, "Hey, if Houston walks us off right now, I'm not going to be hurt." And that's a little bit at the Yankees season. And it's a little bit at Clay that it's like, I don't know, like, we we just had so many years of sending our best, our best man for battle out there. They're like, Clay's sick. But also, I, I don't know, it's a, it's a conversation Yankee fans don't want to have because we haven't had to actually have it. We kind of had it the other day when I asked you if he was going to close next year. Like, I don't know. I mean, I'd like to ask Booney about fielding that play, but we could probably save a lot of that for um, awards and shit if we get into personal stuff. Glaber gets Glaber got scratched from game one, and he didn't play this game either. We forgot to mention that with uh, back spasms. Or whatever. Uh, the other note, I guess, housekeeping is that Wells played all three to catch her position. Maybe we get to that Dude, later. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Like, okay, sorry, Ben Rortvet, and maybe this IKF Donaldson trade isn't going to work out for us, but, like, the fact that the Yankees have actually caved on this year fully... I didn't I didn't think they would do that. And I'm well, e- ecstatic comes from the top. for it. Ecstatic for it. Well, yeah, and it came straight from Hal, is what he's saying, which is awesome. We've always been Hal guys, sneaky. Uh ever since he called Judge in the middle of the night in, from Italy on his yacht or whatever to sign him. I liked him. But yeah, I don't know. I was gonna talk about that later in the show too. But yeah. Uh, apparently Hal is the one, which I think the timing kind of lines up nicely because when we talked to Boone, when he came to the office was right after they had that meeting and we asked all about that meeting. And now apparently like around that time is when Hal was like, call up all the kids. I want to see what we have. And at the deadline, Hal's the reason they didn't trade to go for it, which is a little weird. Like, but then they didn't sell. But Hal was the one that made them not be buyers because he said, like, and I quote, but I 
well, the opposite of, and I quote, and I paraphrase and add my own colorful flavor to this. How basically said all your trades have sucked lately. Let's not do any, let's pause. Let's pause the bad trades. Gallo, Montas, Benintendi. Um, there's another one. Josh Donaldson. Soriano. That was the ones listed. F. That was the ones listed. They all sucked. And uh, how was like, we traded away a lot of players that we never got to see play. Now that is paraphrasing, but that is what Hal said in his own better words. And he said, I want to see these kids play. So how's the one that said, put all these guys up and play. And, and why I said the timing makes sense. Cause when we talked to Boone, I asked about Jason and I asked about Wells and he was kind of like, well, they come up, they're going to play. They're, he was kind of smiling when he answered, when we talked to him uh, on and off air. And I, now I feel like he knew, like, you don't know they're coming, whether he, he wanted them or not. I, I think the, the part that now is significant. When you asked about Dominguez, Boone was like, if he's up, he's playing. Like, I, yes. I think, I think you, I think we all in our heads have a mental like, oh, okay, like he's on the team. Like, oh, they called up Jason. But if you're going to call up a 20 year old and have him play and have him be compared to Mickey's legs, like, it, you better play that kid. And they have. So that that's the cool part that, like, we couldn't anticipate because we've never seen it. Yeah. No. Since Gary, really. That was fun. Um, all right. They get the win here. Burrito was awesome in his relief here. So is Randy in the game before for two innings. Wandy gets back-to-back -back action, and then they bring in Clay. And this game three is brought to you by Manscaped. Ho! Oh, the whole day is. Uh, you know, I've got, I don't want to say this. Mom, Renee, turn your ears off. I've got a landing strip. Um, uh, right. <laughs> Jim? Right down the path. Uh, incoming. And if you take care of your downstairs with Manscaped, why don't you take care of your upstairs with Manscaped? They've got their brand new handyman electric face shaver for a quick and convenient way to achieve a clean shaven look. Get your neckline or give your face a smooth finish with the handyman. Get 20% off. That sounds nice. And free shipping with code Yanks at manscaped.com. That's 20% off. Free shipping at manscaped.com when you use code Yanks. There's a link in the description. You know it. And we're going to have fun. But shave your stuff. Game three. Can they sweep, Jake? Haven't done it in forever. In Yankees over, in going years. full king without a crown. Modest Yahoo game for the sweep. Kyle Tucker and Tuck, you too. He sacrificed himself for the only run, but DJ 26 to the sky for an alien. Glaber bomb. David Welsey is. Times are good. Yankees sweep, baby. Glaber, Wells, Peraza. The future is bright. Yanks win 6 2 final. They were down going into the six, Jake, and they end up winning this one six to one and uh, some more fun rallies. Jim, if you're not down, you're never down, man. They were down. Okay. So they were down. King goes from the wind up halfway through. Why says, not? You know what? I am a starter. Time for me to accept it. I'm not a reliever that's starting games. I'm a starter. So he gets out of the stretch and goes wind up, worked out for him. Um, his deepest outing by far, right? 80-something pitches or something like that? Yeah, 92. For, for No, that was Rodon, excuse me. First time completing five innings. 69, so we're both wrong. Well, it's kind of yeah. messed up either way. Either way. Hey, how about two inning Canely? How about two inning Canely? That was a little surprising. It was basically like, hey, dude, go out there and uh, throw other pitches. So he threw 
Only as he threw his change up 61% of the time. He threw four sliders. He threw 17 two seam fastballs and 17 four seam fastballs. So the guy that's been too predictable, people are sitting on the change up. He lowered it. Still a lot of change ups, but I believe that's less for him. They give him two innings. And then Luizaga. And I remember, um, I remember, was it Bregman or is it Altuve? Or was it both of them? Both. That said, both said Luizaga is their least favorite pitcher to face. The hardest pitcher for them to face is Luizaga. So that's cool. This whole year has been twisted up. Um, <laughs> like we, I think every Yankee fan kind of scoffed at Booney when he was like, hey, Judge is getting the toughest batting practice he can face with Jonathan Luizaga. And he's like half right. <laughs> like <laughs> It's almost stupid. Jonathan Luizaga throwing sinkers at Judge while he's trying to rehab. I don't know if I support that, but it's the situation everyone found themselves in. And yeah, Johnny Laza's kind of sick. And for Canely... I do think it's funny. He changed up his pitch mix a lot, but after Altuve and Bregman. I mean, Altuve and Bregman, he threw eight pitches. Six were change-ups. <laughs> so, well, like, righties. It's been lefties that have been hitting his change-up. Right. Um, I mean, he's he's kind of been getting hit by everyone recently when, he, when he's been hanging in there, but for the two guys to start to start it, still leans on his best pitch. Yeah, yeah. I think it's mostly been lefties that have been crushing him. Um, I mean, the same dude on the Nationals got him twice, and he's a lefty, but I, I think he's just been getting got. Yeah. Well, I like seeing him against um, Alvarez. Uh, did he face Tucker in this one? Uh, he got Alvarez for the final out in the inning, and then he faced Tucker for the first out. He uh, yeah, yeah. lined out. Yeah. They had a lot of fly ball outs. Like, King for a sinker ball pitcher, I think all their outs were in the air. And we had the guy, the Houston fan, get fan interference, which was a whole dog and pony show. I mean... He called them the asteroids. Michael K. the first game was being borderline rude because he was like, they're swinging at the first pitch. Like, he he kept being, like, in shock. He was like, oh, they're swinging at the first pitch. And Coney was like, yeah. <laughs> like, like Coney was very much team, hey, when that happens, enjoy it. But Kaser yeah. was in shock. Well, he was throwing strikes. I was looking at that. I mean, Kinger had a on his on his sinker, which he threw fifty percent of the time. Or was it? He, uh, oh, it was a big number. It was a uh, fifty bit oh forty five percent called strike or swinging strike. I think like sixty one percent were in the zone or something like that. It was uh, pound in the zone. Five throws changeup or fastball. In the zone. Five innings from Kinger. Yeah. And he could have went longer, it looked like. Yeah, slow slow stretch him out. Believe it's the first time he's completed five innings in the big leagues. Yeah. Is the number going around. Ooh. Obviously spent a lot of time as a reliever, so hard to do it during those times. Hmm. All right. We didn't talk about game two enough, in my opinion. Okay, let's hit it then. Uh, Because I don't know how to work this into awards. You're but, on the Johnny Brito train, though? Yeah, I, yeah, it's interesting. So it's a, You want him well, to maybe put his keys in your bowl and bang your no, wife? No, I don't want him to sleep with my wife. I do not. Okay. Um, unlike you, I do not want Johnny Brito to sleep If that's with what wife. Jess and Johnny wanted, I don't know. Uh, the inning that was awesome was awesome. Yes. Judge goes first to third. Yeah. On a ball that should have been an out, but Dubon botched it. And then you get, uh, Volpe works a nice walk, full count walk. Uh, um, Wells hits the sack fly that judge tags up on. That was kind of a shallow sack fly. So judge goes first to third speed. As fast as we've seen him run all season. And then he tags up and didn't even think about it. 
Then uh, double steal right away. Pereira steals second. Volpe steals third. And all of that was like, oh, shit. They're running. Like, this lineup's balanced. The lefties we brought up control the zone that they're, they're supposed to do. And we have speed. It was a little bit of an eye-opening like, inning for me. Like, that's baseball. Man. Yeah, Judge Judge running well was pretty cool. Uh, the broadcast was all over it. It was kind of the best he's looked running, and we've we've been on it a little bit. And even when Boone was in our office, we were like, "Hey, like, is Judge getting better?" Because it was one of those things you almost didn't want to ask. It was kind of like, "Wait, is this an injury that's just going to be okay?" Yeah, it kind of sucks, and like we're just going to get through the season. It's like, no, Judge has gotten better. Like, he's, he's making more athletic moves, uh, especially running the bases, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then, yeah, the double seal was cool, but it was also like, I mean, you want to start getting into picky Yankee fans. Um, the pitch they ran on, I think if they don't, that was a good pitch to hit. And it starts getting into real, like, deep semantics baseball game ship, but don't care. Like, I love my Yankees doing stuff, so I'm glad they did stuff. The uh, and I missed that. Uh, Martian scored from second on the Pereira single, and he was just booming the whole way too. Yep. Like, just seeing that like lefties come up, and I don't know. It was exciting. It's it good exciting seeing lefties, lineup. man. Yeah, that aren't you know Calhoun McKinney. Just the presence of impact lefties, Jim. We're lefties. so twisted up that you said Calhoun. And I thought you were talking Cole Calhoun for a second, and I got excited because he's been good. You got excited about Cole Calhoun? Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. Save the Guardians. Uh, that's all the games. Yeah. So now we do awards. We do do. If you awards. want to? Yeah. You get to go first. First award we give out is Pride of the Yankees. Pride Well, for me, the real pride of the Yankees is LinkedIn, Jim. Um, We've hired a lot of good people from LinkedIn. I think a lot of good people have been hired from LinkedIn. And LinkedIn Jobs, it's numero uno. It's number one. If you're on the platform, even if you're not, if you were like out of the game, but you're like, hey, how should I? I want to get in the mix. You'd go to LinkedIn. And if you have a small company, LinkedIn is the best place to find qualified candidates that you want to talk to. Post your job for free. LinkedIn.com slash Yanks. That's LinkedIn.com slash Yanks. Post your job for free. There's terms and conditions. You know that. We have a link in our description. If you're looking for the talent, LinkedIn is where you want to be. Simple as that. Simple as that. Okay. Simple as that. That just felt a little. Uh, who is your pride of the Yankees? Pride of the Yankees. Pride of the Yankees. Yeah. That just felt a little like, you know. You get to go first. Do you know what I'm saying when I say that though? Mm-hmm. I thought it felt a lot like that, in my opinion. Which part? Bogo bogo. Are you stalling because you don't know who your pride is? I'm you taking know, Jason know. Dominguez, Pop. First one wow. ever. Eat it. Eat my ass, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy now who? they're going to clip who? that. Now Jimmy they're going to clip that and they're going to. Oh, these two. You're talking about me or my son? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, last episode. Yeah. Your son asked. He said, hey, mm-hmm. can we get something from these kids? We were in the yeah. warehouse. And you kind of laid it out there and you knew it was a big demand, but you were like, fuck, man. This has been tough. I need yeah. something from these kids. Jason Dominguez homering in his first at bat versus Justin Verlander. Dude, Yankee fans deserve that. And we got it. And it was sick. 
and nothing else mattered. I didn't care about the rest of the two and a half days of baseball. The Yankees swept them. Eat my ass. Shaq to Kobe. R.I.P. But, dude, that was so sick. And um, it was the moment that, like, Yankee fans have deserved this season. It was cool. I mean, he went the Crawford seats. Used their stadium against him. Outside fastball goes the other way. After the curveball, I actually was in, really impressed with his game today. Javier diced him up in the first at bat. Um, I don't know if I can look this up yet, but the first, let me see if I can find this. He obviously hits the fastball, right? Baseball savant. I think he put a lot of different kinds of balls in play hard is what I'm trying to get at. His his whole first game. Yeah, but I'm saying like um, a lot of times young, Coney talked about this a lot. A lot of times young kids come up and they hit the fastball. Uh, you know, Oswaldo Cabrera. And they struggle with all the other pitches. Pereira has seen nothing but off speed and breaking pitches. And he struggled for a long time. And Dominguez first, game uh i think it was all fastballs that he put in play in game one and it's cool and he hits the homer and every ball was hit hard in game two he hit again a 90 mile per hour exit below it was a splitter and then he singled on a change up and then he reached on the fielder's choice on a curveball and in this game today, I believe in his first at bat, he struck out and and Javier got him on the curve, I want to say, or the changeup. Sorry. Yes, it was slider, slider, curveball, changeup. So no fastballs. Right. And then the next time he came up, I think he put the changeup in play. He flew out the center. But yeah, he got change up, change up, but he like adjusted to it and didn't mind. And then he hit the big home run on a slider. So I liked how many splitter, slider, change up, four seam, he put them all in play and they all barreled. That home run for me kind of made me do like a, um, like a, uh, like a classic 1950s female character swoons or like swelts. Like I was watching that and I was like, oh, Judge just got rung up on that outside pitch. Imagine if Dominguez went deep just to like do it to him. And I already was in love with the kid before that. Right. And then he hit that home run. And I I literally, I didn't do this, but in my brain, I looked like, oh, right. And like melted. You swoon. And Joe's and I were, I swooned. Joe's and I were texting like, oh my God. And I was like, Put him in the stadium. And it's crazy. Joe's doesn't Get like him. him. The it's insane. Joe's doesn't Joe's like said, him at Joe's, all. Joe's, I'd trade him for Kirby in a second. Right. Joe's is like, ah, oh, if I could get that guy to the Expos, done. Um, No, it's uh, stuff that doesn't matter that does matter. Dude, his at-bats are show. And the whole yeah. thing has been show. Like, he doesn't care. He doesn't. I, he, he doesn't didn't, give a shit that it's his in home, Houston. His home runs. He just rounded them, dude. He hit. Okay, I punched the mic, and I'm sorry. He hit a fly ball to right that was like, it wasn't out, but there was a half second it was out. He didn't care. He didn't care for a second. He was glad it was out. He would have been more mad if it was a homer. He's a sicko, man. I'm all about it. I like him. I like him. I can't believe Joe's doesn't. It's so... It, it's did crazy because Joe... the U.S. lose dude, to Lithuania? Oh, they got rocked. Yeah. Joe's is Dominican, dude. So it's like, why don't you like him? If there was like somebody yeah, I thought he would be him. all in on, it would be him, but he... he just doesn't like him. He wasn't in on Gary, and now he's not in on the Martian. I don't really get it. <laughs> Yeah. Who's your pride? My pride of the Yankees is um, 
Skidamadinkadinkadink, skidamadinkadoo, I love you. Oh, I'm just going to go Austin Wells. I'm just going to keep the kid fest going. I mean, he, uh, you know, his slash line is 200 and 250 in the three games, but he caught all three games, right? I was surprised by that. I like the walk he worked in the in the game today. And then he gets a, a hold of one that might be out at the stadium. I don't know. I forget where it went. That double? No, that was to left. He also hit a foul ball down the line to left that I was that it was an outside pitch that he went with. And I was just like, whoa. We haven't done this all year. We're hitting balls where you're going with pitches on the outside. Um, his mustache, him and Rodon as a battery looked like some fucked up world where everyone had to look at like each other. Like they were like in some prison, you know, when sometimes they do like prisoner exchange and they looked ex the same. I, it was kind of creeping me out to be honest. Like if they were to like, go walk somewhere together, I think people would be like, Whoa, <laughs> you guys dressed as each other. But I liked his at bats. I liked how happy his mom was for Dominguez. And then his dad had this really good head shake like this after he got his first big head. He just like leaned forward. He just <laughs> like couldn't believe it. Um, but yeah, again, I liked how he commanded the zone. He's skinnier than you think when you see him sideways in the box. And I didn't mind his catching at all. And he threw out, uh, threw, threw the guy out today. And that was like a big question mark. So uh, it's not the same as Dominguez, but it's, it's still a nice debut. Like I feel like if, Martian didn't get called up and do that. We'd still be like, good three days, good first three days from Wells. Show he can hang. All three games, got an extra base hit. We like that. But that's the that, catch twenty. That's the catch twenty two because having both of their families in the stands was electric. I mean, was was absolutely incredible. I mean, Dominguez's parents in the renegade shirt. Like, come on, hmm. Yanks, you got to be a little better than that. Um, that's a lucky shirt. Been wearing Wells since his he parents first called up a AAA. couldn't care less. They were both athletes. Like I made they, that up. They knew Austin Wells would get here. They were almost bored by his first hit, and so was Austin. Um, that yeah, I um, again, I we're we're shills for the Yankees. You know, we're on Yes Network. I'm handsome. Jimmy's ugly. Um, that it's like I'm I'm impressed. That they actually let Wells catch these games because that in the past years, how the Yankees have treated Wells and like the rumors along the way, I I didn't think they'd let him catch a Yankees game, especially like Higgy, Trevino, Rort Vet. Like, oh, pitch framer extraordinaires, but they can't hit. Uh the fact they let Wells catch games and the fact that he might have a chance to hit. Awesome. I've I've opened up my heart to a catcher being able to hit, and it's a pretty good feeling. It is a nice feeling. And a lefty. And, and I didn't, lefty. you know, they pitched pretty well to him. Sevy got isn't the greatest line, but I think he was fine. He was better fine. than that line. He was fine. Stack one, two, S. three. Are one, you counting two, with me? Three, three, three plus two, five. Three. three plus five is eight. Okay, plus four. Twelve. Eight is oh, twelve, yeah. Plus four. Sixteen. That would be sixteen. Sixteen? Yep. Mm -hmm. All day. Okay. Okay, sixteen. Plus forty. Fifty-six. Fifty-six divided by twelve. Nobody can do that, man. Wells averaged 4.6 pitches a plate appearance, which I I knew it was high. I knew I was watching that and being like, he's working. He's working. Just nice. He's working. He's working. He's working. He's working. That's pretty good, man. Yeah. These, they're hitters. Wells is hitterish. Yeah. Yep. I I'm like interested. Him. All to right. See who's your mf -er? I liked uh, his sack fly was nice. And again, Judge being running, Judge helped. I still think that was enough for a sack fly to a center fielder. Um, not if Judge was a little hurt. Not if Judge was a little hurt, but we're past that. Um, that I, uh, I'm interested to see with Wells. 
Because, I don't know, in a way that pitch is a win, but in a way that pitch could be more. So, I don't know. We're just watching baseball. Uh, my- StatCast does have Wells his double to right field today. Uh, it says homer and zero out of 30 parks. So, we'll take just the double. Wouldn't have gotten out anywhere. I have to oh, give an um, MF for oh, Jeffrey Mayer's there. You Yankee motherfucker. No way. Who are you giving it to? Everson Pereira. What? Join the party, Pop. He had an RBI. You want to be a part of this dance? The guy robbed the ball from him in left field. It would have been a highlight catch. Yeah, dude, he's shitting on Oswaldo. Hey, Oswaldo, we're taking another picture. Let me poop on your face. Like, I, I don't know. I'm about it. The guy's got exit velo. I like his swings. Dude, how many series are we in now that he hasn't, like, actually done anything? Two for 11, a 182 batting average. I'm about Pereira being in the mix next year. But, I mean, we kind of hit our cap on, like, okay, I get you're a rookie. I get baseball's hard, but, I don't know, to a certain degree, you can't just keep rolling it out. Wow. Pretty rude. Okay, yeah, your mf game winning, game winning RBI in game two. What was your mf And you're just like, he does nothing. I didn't hear your mf I mean, I haven't fully thought about it yet, but Rortvet was kind of nowhere to be seen. Jimmy! You say Pereira didn't get involved. He didn't even pinch run for Stanton. <laughs> he did nothing. Who's your mf uh, Savvy, because wow, it's gotta be someone. Because I wanted to see if uh, remember I said this game is gonna let us know if Sevy got better or if Sevy was just playing weak teams. It kind of wasn't enough to answer the question. Like I thought we were gonna get an answer. We kind of we were like leaning. Oh, You've it was the bad answer. teams. Um, it wasn't that bad, but it was it was pretty bad. He didn't throw his fastball that much. Um, kind of got an answer. Johnny Brito's outpitched him. Vasquez outpitched him. They all, King's outpitching him. Everyone's outpitched him all year. It's been a tough year. Four and four, not great. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? That's all. We got regular old awards coming up. Regular old awards is brought to you by the Talking Giants tailgate. There's a lot of you that are Giants fans, and Bobby and Justin, and a lot of our John Boy Media people are showing up to the tailgates this year, and we're going bigger than ever. L16 in the parking lot of MetLife Stadium. Every week we'll feature a different theme along with catered food, water, soda, entertainment. Starts September 10th at 4.30 p.m. Multi-tailgate discounts are also available. Come be a part of the tailgate 2023 season with the Talking Giants crew. It's kind of the best part of this company. We get crews together. We have a good time. So if you're going to a Giants game, come through. Come to our tailgate and check it out at shop.johnboymedia.com. Click on JM Events. Purchase your tickets right from our store. We'll see you out there. We'll see you out there. Your first award? Regular awards. Um, I'm going to give out the Sudafed Award. Sudafed. Um, Sudafed. What do you use Sudafed for when your like sinuses are all blocked up? Uh, Peraza. You're close, Jim. Um, you didn't want to let him into your swinger heart, and I get that. Um. But Johnny Brito in Sudafed. Brito. Sudafed, I think one of their tags is, oh, what a relief it is. Um, 
Johnny Brito as a reliever this year has been awesome. Johnny Brito, Jim, 21.1 innings. That's a chunk. A 1-2-7 ERA. Johnny Brito in his 21.1 innings out of the bullpen. He's been lights out. He's been electric. And it kind of tunes into what we thought, right? Like, Johnny Brito's been searching for a third pitch. He doesn't have a slider curveball yet. But when he's been out of the pen, he's been really good. So, I tried to put his keys in the bowl and have you accept that. And we'll still have to see. Because he knows what he has to work on. But Johnny Brito has a part in this team, whether it's the guy they call up or potentially an impact guy out of the bullpen. If we weren't in full training, he'd be he, he like he'd be starting. It's actually kind of I don't know that the fact that King's getting the start and Brito's not like this dude has earned he's, he's earned to be in the rotation. Compared think, to what the rotation is. I think Mike King has earned it over Brito. Uh, yes, I don't disagree with that. But um, I think if they were trying to win, they wouldn't be doing this situation with King. They would be keeping him in the role they like him if they were still contenders. And, and then Brito would get the chance to start because that's what he had been doing. But because they're in fall training and they're finding new roles, they, those guys kind of got switched to King's benefit. It's tricky. I mean, if, if there was a game on the line in Yankee land, I think the Yankees would put King on the mound to start over Brito. Well, now that they've done it six times and they know he can handle it, but if we were contending, I don't know, because they, uh, they were doing that and they chose Brito over King earlier in the year. But... And now Brito's like not stretched out at all. There's got to be worried about innings with him, I guess. But he's not even, he's at 74. I don't know. Go get him, Johnny Brito. Funky delivery, baby face. 3.2 shutty, very big baby face. Yeah. Like almost that baby filter that was on Instagram a year ago. It almost looks like a baby filter on his head. Yes, yes. I agree. I agree with that. 3.2. His body's not babyish. 3.2, two hits, but I think they were both double plays. I think it was 3.2 minimum. I believe they, I, I yeah. recall them saying he faced the minimum. So I liked it. I am going to give out, oh man, okay. so many advertisements in the world. Okay. I'm going to give out the, uh, I'm going to give out the uh uh do 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 yes do uh King Leonidas award Leonidas or hold on okay I I might be able to give you a better hint um I'll I'll give out the uh. Persian Archers Award. The Persian Archers Award. Very yes. different. Yeah, but it's... King Leonidas was wrong. So I'm giving the Persian Archers Award. Or Danicus. Hey, okay, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's just kind of a fun show I do with my buddy. So <laughs> let's, let's, not, uh, let's not make it weird. Um, what was that? The Persian Archer. <laughs> we will fight in the shade. Um, so you're giving this to Peraza, huh? Yes, you got it. Our arrows will blot out the sun, and we will fight in the shade. <laughs> sounded like a re <laughs> sounded like a reggae song for a second. We will blot out the sun. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's how he says it. Uh, Peraza, dude. All he needed was the Martian to come be a big sun orbit, take all the spotlight away. He's a shade guy. 
He likes being cool. He doesn't want to be on the main stage. Cooling. Cooling. Just cooling. Being cool. Slapping balls on a line. I actually like the way Peraza <laughs> swings and hits. Say? I like Peraza. Your mic cut out, so I don't know what you just said. But his double today down the line, I think it was his last hit. Like, yeah, do that, man. Can we get guys that do that? Yeah. Volpe can do that. Been doing it lately. It sucks yeah. that we're so right-handed, man, because it it makes it feel almost irrelevant. Because it's like, okay, Peraza, even if you're good, like what? <laughs> you're a righty, 15 homers, 15 steals guy at the bottom of the line? Like, we don't need that almost from a right-handed hitter. But yeah, I mean, my dream is that Peraza and Pereira are, are play really well down the stretch and we trade them for assets and Dominguez and Wells play really good down the stretch and we pencil them into the lineup. And then you have Volpe, uh, Dominguez, Wells as the young guys, Judge, Rizzo. Uh, and then you go trade for people and get other better players that elevate the team. I guess if Peraza, if they don't use Peraza that way and he's a third baseman next year or whatever, like I do believe when I've seen him swing and hit the ball, it's a sustainable thing, which is what everyone said the whole way in AAA was like, he has a sustainable approach. He doesn't overdo it. He just bat to ball every day, can hit the ball hard. It didn't happen for a while this time when he came up, but then the Martian came as the big old son and he enjoyed the shape. It's unfortunate because. If the team was built differently, I think I would be excited about Peraza. Like, the double play they turned uh, that was Oswaldo to Peraza to DJ was an awesome double play. It was kind of sick. Um, and Peraza was almost the problem because he bounced the throw to DJ and he made a nice pick. But second base is easy for Peraza. Like... He's talented, man. He's got the arm strength, and he can pick anything. Like, he loves it, and that's awesome. And I don't know. I guess there's just, as a Yankee fan, I agree with you. Like, if if Peraza, Wells, if any prospects, Pereira, if Brito, Vasquez, if they turn into Major League talent, be happy about that because you get Major League talent back. But... It's a weird thing for us because we've been in a weird area with Peraza. But, man, if they give him the keys to something, I'll be excited. Like, if, if the Yankees make a trade and Oswald Peraza is their second baseman, I'll be kind of hype. Like, I think the kid can play ball. But it's just he's not what the Yankees need to be different. And... I don't know. I guess that shouldn't be shots fired at him, but it's honest. Especially if DJ's back. Speaking of, your next award? Uh, my next award is the DJ... Um, I'm going to mix it up. It's the Disc Jockey Award. What was that? My next award is the Disc Jockey Award. I'm Jake. I'm going to give the Jim TV Award. Jim TV? What was that? Yeah. How are you spelling it? G Y M. Loser. Wasn't about you, man. That's what I wanted to make sure. Everyone was sure except you. You watch. I thought it was maybe a play off your dad at first. Nice well, maybe guy. your dad had a funky TV situation that I had to try and remember. Big fan of my dad. The gym TV stinks. So he's on mute. And we're on it sometimes if they have Yes Network on. And quiet in the background. Catches your eye every now and then. Um, I don't know. Glaber. It goes to Carlos Rodon. Carlos Rodon goes five innings pitch, 92 pitches. It's game on, bro. Um, I was at the gym, obviously. And they had a Yankees classic game on. Yankees Padres. Kevin Brown on the bump. Uh, Kevin Brown, he's mowing people down. Paul O'Neill, sinker. Uh, who's on the mound for the Yankees? It's David Wells. David Wells and Rodon, a lot of similar energy on the bump. Uh, different generations 
healthy, not healthy. Carlos Rodon. Jim, it's game on. 92 pitches. He gets through five innings here. Like, this is it. We, we've done a lot with Rodon. We've done the 4.1. We've done all of that. He's fully stretched out. We've, we've done pitch count. We've done all of that. Hey, man, you're now stretched out. You could go to 100 if you want. We got to see like a six innings out of you. And I'm excited to do it because I think he will. But, man, it's been a, it's been a little topsy-turvy. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't echo that like it's fall training. I don't know. I'll judge Rodon on his year next year. I think I've said that already this year. His so pitches he, look, nothing his he pitches can do crispier. can change your perspective of you. him. I couldn't hear you. Nothing he can do can change your perspective of him. I mean, if I mean, it would just have to be wildly like good or bad the rest okay. of the way, but like crazy bad or crazy good. Like if he continues to do this, like oh six one, oh then five two. Six six innings pitch one and run. Oh, then the next one it's five innings pitch two and runs. Oh, then the next one is six innings pitch four and runs. Like just like kind of this back and forth. Um, he hasn't done know. anything. What? He hasn't done anything. Uh, he had a good outing against the Nationals, and then he had um, I don't know five innings pitch two and runs. It's not terrible against the Astros. That's I mean that's not Carlos Rodon. That's not one sixty six mil. You know. Yeah, I think that I don't think he is who he he was. I think he's I don't know. I don't know. I'm not very expecting him to be San Francisco Carlos Rodon. I mean, that was his asking point, but I mean at a really, really deep right field and he throws two pitches. So maybe I'm just not as gung ho on Rodon as everyone else. Like I I have him more being a Tanaka type where like get through the regular season and then I want to see what you do in the postseason when you really like are up against it. But I'm not I don't know, I'm not judging Rodon on being like a happy Cy Young getter. Okay. His stuff was good in this game. Yeah, I mean, this is this is one of two times his pitch count linked up. He got six innings versus the Nats. And the Nats, to their credit, have actually been a pretty solid baseball team. But uh, 92 pitches is his uh, second time in the 90s. Uh, I, uh, I think he's going to try to show something the rest of the way. And I don't know. I don't know if he can change our emotions or not. I'm excited to see. Two eight seven ERA last three games. I thought he's looked good the last three games, I, but um, better. I don't know. I don't think they're going to take any risks or be crazy with him. What kind of and risk? His fastball slider plays. I do. I do really like. Uh, Flash pointed out the setup of the catcher. Now I'm really paying attention to where um, Wells was Wells. putting his glove, and it is consistently to the. Um, well, Rodon's a lefty, so to his right. So, so the catcher is basically saying, "Hey, get it here, like get it all the way across," right. and then he's missing in, or or maybe it wasn't that. I don't know, but they're the catcher's not setting the glove where they want the ball. No, it was, it was interesting because the slider in and it was in a good location got hit, but we don't know Rodon enough yet to know if that's like, wow, that's that's weird. You got beat, or like. <laughs> Hey, dude. Yeah, if you throw a if you throw a slider there, they might turn on it, and we haven't seen enough of him yet. I thought his face, his fastball, looked as good as it's looked all season. This game, he threw a couple up in the zone. Who did he strike out on a fastball that they were just late to it? Um, after throwing a bunch, it's like, and it was, I think it was like ninety three. Maybe it was ninety seven. Big gap. I think it was 93. No, it couldn't have been. But I liked it. It was a swing and miss fastball. I'll find it. There's no. I guess I, I think there's a chance what he does over the next month could could win you over a little more. I don't know if he does. Uh, but it. I'm not but I'm not the opposite. I'm not upset. Not like out on him. No one said. And you, you said it before, like it's just 
this you, year you, is, feels a you, little you lost. You just said your but... expectations for him aren't that high. Well, they're to be a two in the postseason. Right. Yeah. Postseason's not in play this got, year. But that's not his problem. got by the porch and shit. That's not his problem. Um, what did he, who did he strike out? It's cool. Who did he punch out, bro? I don't know. I'm going to find it. Some guys. High fastball strikeouts are cool, officially. Officially, Jameson Tyone. Was it Tucker? Oh, he like got Tucker, Tucker on a good one. In my head, yeah. He got Tucker on a good one. Tucker gave like a half ass swing at it. 3 2, 97. Yeah. It wasn't high, though. It was just like in the zone. And I was like, how did that get beat? And then uh, Yainer Diaz, same hey. thing, 96, 2 2, up in the zone. He just swings through it. And I was. I was like, why are they? Oh, dude, this is the one I'm thinking of. Okay. It's uh it's Yainer. Hey. Diaz. I can send it in the chat. I'll send it to the chat. I don't know if they could they have to copy and paste it, but in I can also chat. send it to BBD in this chat. Um try it. But it is this was uh the fastball that I thought, ooh. It was kind of the first time I was like, I get. I get what he does. Right. Because he just hits his spots. Um, and yeah, is that your award? That was my award. We're waiting for your award. Did I already give one? Shade. Um, Final award. I'm giving the... Um, beat LA award. Beat LA. Beat LA. Nice award, bro. Thank you. Um, no, Aaron Judge. Yes, dude. Fuck that stupid outfield wall in LA. Judge. Is homering every 9.3 awesome. at bats. Awesome. You know what he did last year? He homered every 9.2 at bats. He's doing the same exact thing. He just got hurt because they got a dumb concrete wall where feet go in LA. And they bump. I heard ump. Did you do too short? I said, and they bump. Yeah. I made 16 albums, me on the front, and they bump. You get your beats at 93 rappers, a bitch like me. Two singers, ten comedians, and I'm still gonna have every time. Watch my favorite word, bitch. My high school assembly. That was fun. Just moved to the Bay Area. High school assembly. They bump in that song, Blow the Whistle by Too Short. Obviously, the non, the PG version or whatever, the edited. What do they call it? Censored version? Clean version. you clean. And then the whole student section. What's my favorite word, bitch? It was like a thousand students, bitch. And I was like, whoa. And I was like, the teachers not know that was going to happen. You hear, you hear a thousand 15 year olds say bitch, and that'll hit you. <laughs> that'll pop. Utes. changes a man. Hey, I don't like the Utes thing. <laughs> Nobody does. Nobody does. I feel bad. I, dude, I love Kester. He's all about it. And dude, the the fan of well, they the gotta game. Say it like short. The bitch. fan of the game when he tried making that happen was Joe Callow. Not a joke. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's troublesome because there's the Italian New York accent from my cousin Vinny where he says youths. Youths. Youth. But it is a slang word for young black kid. Right. So it gets dicey. Places in the country where they have a different accent, they don't use that word that way. Like, that's, that's what I said when, when Joe's, I was like, I don't know if I can just be throwing that word around because if you Google the definition of youths, it says like young, a young, often black person. I was like, I don't know. Right. Wells doesn't fit the description. What percentage do you have the Yankees making the playoffs? 
Same. Zero point zero five, maybe I meant. Zero point five would be f- no, no. Said percent. Yeah. Half a percent. L- Half of one percent, just to make sure I'm half of one percent. Yes. We're a not line. We're a line. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, so what tra- next? I trade you, Miguel Anduar. I think you ask your grandma to end the show, basically. Oh. We miss anybody? Do we miss anything? I mean, DJ had some real hard uh, contact, but I think on the results Reds. aren't there. Stan hit a ball to the absolute moon, and then he had a weird single. Yeah, didn't really say Volpe's name much. Fine, his nice play, jump throw, his play from short that in the cool. hole was my favorite play he's made this year. I agree. Um, he but then they the said ball. gold glove, which is I didn't get that. Yeah, I mean, that's um, gold glove is more so company you keep that I guess I'd I'd have to look around AL shortstop more that I think he's in the convo. I think it's Bobby Witt in, a, in like a... Yeah, yeah. but I mean, like think about what you're saying. Too. Like, Bobby Witt is basically a full first-year shortstop. Well, if they said in the conversation, that would be different. They said now that Wander's out, Volpe's a lock. Basically, they said they now that Wander's out, lock. Volpe's the number one. And I know Boone's quote they said was via conversation. War. Via war, Volpe's next up. Yeah. It would be awesome if he won it. I don't, I think they just got a lot of Yankees fans excited for something that might not be happening. I think Baez, as bad as he is offensively, still has like some really nice defensive metrics as well. Yep. Then, then it's Volpe. It's crazy. All the good shorts are shot are in the NL. There's like the seven in that, like the top three in the AL around them is like the seven NL. Yeah, I mean, Correa's in the AL. You'd think he'd run away with an AL gold glove. He's I don't think he's been good in this the year. bag. That's this what year's I'm been saying. bad. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I know. Like if we well, came yeah, in, if we point. came like, into the yeah. season, you wouldn't say all the good defensive shortstops are in the NL. No, no. But when you look at it now, right? Especially with Wander out, uh, a lot of them are um, NL. Paul DeYoung, both leagues. <laughs> One week in the AL, did it. All right. See you guys. Go Yanks. Tom Grams. Go Yankees. Yankees. Ian Hamilton. I am hot. I am. We just did a whole conversation about how that was.